I think that the idea of Marty doing a film like The Age of Innocence, a kind of a costume drama and a love story, at least that's the way it was perceived, was initially very exciting to people because it was unorthodox. It was a step away from what we usually expect of him, but it wasn't anything radical. I think we should look at reality, not dreams. I just want us to be together. I can't be your wife, Newland. Is it your idea I should live with you as your mistress? I want... Somehow I want to get away with you and find a world where words like that don't exist. Everybody loves a good love story, and the novel was narrative perfection. It was beautifully, beautifully engineered by Mrs. Wharton. It's a masterpiece, and when I broke it down into cards to frame the cinema narrative, it was like taking apart a beautiful watch. Each part was perfection, and our charter, when we wrote together, was basically, don't do any damage. And I don't believe we did. What are you reading? Well, it's a book about Japan. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's a different country. You used to read poetry. It was so nice when you read it to me. When we opened our paperback copies of the novel, same two copies, which we annotated separately on the first day, then we got together in the room for the first time and we opened our books, and Marty has this kind of standard line to sort of diffuse the tension, say, let us open our books to page one, just like grade school, right? So we open our books, and he kind of goes like this, and he looks, and I kind of go like that, look at him, and he said, try page 12. You look, 44, he says. I look, he looks, 222. I look, he looks, and in over 95% of the cases, separately, we had underlined the same things in the book. Now, I don't think that you can get that kind of collaboration by just introducing yourself to someone, even someone that you love and revere and hit it off with, without having some sort of deeper emotional attachment and understanding to them.